This is an old style straining knot called the orange knot. I'm going to show you how to tie it, then I'm going to test it. On with the speed dealers, let's get fencing. <laughs> to start with, strain your wire up as you would normally, leaving about a ruler length of wire free past the back end of your strainers, this is where you're going to be tying your knot. Now to begin this knot, we're just simply going to run the two wires in parallel to each other. We've got the main fence wire, which is colour coded red, running through the rear end of the strainers, and we've got the yellow wire from crossing over the chain. We're just going to hold that in place, and we're going to have to use two hands for this knot. To begin with, we bring the red wire up as tight as we can over the top of the yellow wire, now, because we've gone over the top of the yellow wire here, we're going to follow the under over rule, which will be very familiar to you if you've tied figure eights before. So the next time the two wires meet, the red wire has to go underneath the yellow. So I'm going to bring the yellow wire slightly forward and bring the red wire down. Now, because the yellow wire has gone over the top of the red wire, the next wire the, the yellow wire crosses, it has to go underneath. So we're going to bring it underneath the main line wire that runs down the fence. And then because it's just gone underneath the main line wire, next time it crosses the red wire, it has to go over the top and it then heads towards itself, ready to be twitched off at this end. Now let's go back to the red wire. Because the red wire has just gone underneath the yellow wire, the next wire it crosses, which will be the main line wire, it has to go over the top of, and it's now ready to twitch off, and in fact, we will do that now. Now the yellow wire is a little bit more tricky to twitch off, so all I'm going to do is just ease it underneath the line wire over the chain, pull it up as tight as I can get it, it's a bit tricky with the plastic covering on the wire. And then when I take the strainers off, I can twitch that off properly. And there you have your orange knot. We refer to this as a strainer knot because when it's tied properly, you only lose about a link of tension when you take the strainers off. Let's tie this once again without the colours, then take it up onto the test bench, see how strong it is. Okay, so now without the fancy colours, we've got our line wire in the rear jaws of the strainer, and we've got the wire that goes to the end assembly over the top of the chain. I'm going to bring the two wires together. I'm going to bring the strained line wire up as tight as I can. Now you'll see that it's going over the top of the other wire that I'm holding in place. Now that means as it completes its turn, it's got to be brought behind the other wire so that we follow the under and over rule. Under here, over there. Now, because this one has gone over the top of that wire, it then gets brought behind the strained line wire and brought down this way. Now because this wire has just gone over the top, we then cross those two wires over like so and bring this wire up towards itself. And then we bring this wire because it's just gone underneath over the top and twitch it off. Now I'm going to do a bit of twitching after I take the strainers off, but to secure it, I'm just going to slide this wire underneath the strainers here bring it up as tight as I can and start the twitch off there. That's our orange knot completed. Take the strainers off. Hold this twitch for leverage and finish off the twitch in front. Okay, so it's time to find out how our knot performs under tension. And for that, we've got the fence stay test bench. If you don't know how that works, roll the tape. The wire with the knot in it is attached at each end with a spiral fast because they're just as strong as the wire. Up at this end I've got a lever that I jack out using a bottle jack with a set of crane scales attached that I'm recording with this camera here. Okay so we've got our plain wire set up on the test bench. We'll get our baseline of unbroken wire to begin with then we'll put the knot on and we'll see how the two compare. We've got our both cameras rolling. I'm going to change the position of this one Let's get started. Rightio, plain wire baseline. We do this every time because wire acts differently at different temperatures and different rolls can have slightly different results. 
as we're winding it up, what are we up to now? 280 odd kilos. We'll find out what the breaking strain of unbroken wire is. What are we up to now? 460 odd, won't be too far away. This is mild tensile. Won't be too far, oh, there we go. Okay, we've got our orange knot set up on the test bench. Let's stretch it and see how it performs compared to the unbroken wire. We'll go a bit slower this time and try and get some accurate readings along the way. So we're just starting to feel the weight now. Up to about 50 kilos. And what I'm seeing is it's actually extending slightly. So it's actually stretching with the wire. We've got 188 kilos there. This was a really popular knot back when we used mild wire. It's coping quite well though, 300, just a shade over 300 kilos and it snapped. Well, there you go. The orange knot broke on a tight bend. Whenever you put tight bend in wire, if you're dealing with medium or high tensile wire, it'll break there every single time. That's why we don't use things like double loops with high tensile wire anymore, because they've been found to be inferior compared to other knots. I'd just like to shout out today to the sponsors who made this all possible. Fence Day for their test bench and great end assemblies. And of course, Murray, a genuine Australian owned company that manufactures on the Murray River. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag, and I'll see you next week.